Wanjiku was overjoyed when she held her tiny little baby in her hands for the first time. But the joy lasted just for a few days as she developed severe weakness, cough and loss of appetite. Initially she brushed it aside thinking this was a result of her baby's delivery. She was devastated when she was diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis. Her world came crashing down on her. She panicked, but at the health center, medical professionals counseled her and gave her medicines. Within a month, she seemed okay. Her appetite had returned. But soon Wanjiko did what exactly many do at this stage, stop the medicines. In just 3 months, her cough came back to haunt her. She retried the medicines but got no relief. Her condition worsened over the next 2 months. She was now diagnosed with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. This time, she had to go to the health center daily and take her medicines in the presence of the staff. The doctor strongly advised her not to stop taking medicines. Though she was determined to get over tuberculosis, she missed medicines on many days. Her condition deteriorated. Within a few months, she passed on, leaving behind her 9-month-old baby. Why did Wanjiko face this fate? The health center she went to had good facilities, excellent systems and processes, good toolkits, and highly motivated professionals. But still, her life could not be saved like the 1.8 million people who die worldwide of tuberculosis. Kenya ranks 15th on a list of 22 high burden TB countries in the world, according to the World Health Organization. With over 150,000 suffering, TB remains a major cause of morbidity and mortality in Kenya. Widespread co-infection with HIV makes TB difficult to treat. Every patient can potentially infect 15 others. The result? Hundreds of lives are lost due to TB. Tuberculosis is slowly turning into a time bomb. One of the challenges that we face is to prevent the development of MDR-TB. The cost of medication and care shoots up more than 50 times. Track the patients to make sure that they are taking the medications when they are supposed to take. The challenge is to make sure that we collect the data real time so that we can be able to make proper plans to manage our patients appropriately. The Tibu Collaboration Platform, a joint initiative of the Ministry of Health and Safaricom and its partners Iridium Interactive and Tangazoletu, funded by USAID. Tibu Collaboration Platform is an integrated DISH2 system of health and social services delivery using mobile technology. Uh, USAID is very happy to partner with the government of Kenya to provide a real-time digital innovative solution. It will be an integrated strategic information system that provides the division with real-time data. We are very strong on the social charter. We came up with a strategy that we are calling the digital inclusion that specifically zeroes in on e-health, e-learning, m-agriculture, those things that actually would be impacting our subscriber base. And TBK, it's, a, it's, it's something that a lot of people don't have the information about. Uh, we realize that the places that the road cannot even get to, we can actually get to those people using our mobile phone, thanks to MPESA, of course. One of the value propositions that we've been able to bring into this uh, solution is our Safaricom Cloud. The TIBU collaboration platform works on the principle of collaborative integrated process of health service delivery. The best part about this innovative solution is that it simplifies the health delivery services and provides an equitable platform for everyone across the country. The TIBU collaborative platform incorporates a primary healthcare approach at the community level but also provides for vertical and horizontal integration at the facility, district, province, national and logistics level. It therefore involves all stakeholders from health workers, patients, all staff, the ministry and even the funding agency. The platform manages patient data, involves monitoring and evaluation, program administration, finance and mobile payments with geospatial reporting.
Crucial information is made available to various stakeholders through mobile, web and social media. The performance of the Ministry and the progress made on TB treatment is available through the Citizen Portal and the Service Portal. Take the case of this herdsman living in a remote village in Rift Valley. Kiptanui, the clinical health officer, is looking into the herdsman's complaint on persistent cough. He suspects TB and asks for a lab report. A Chang, the lab technician, immediately receives a lab request on her tab. She conducts tests on the herdsman's sputum samples. The herdsman tests positive for TB. A Chang immediately updates the lab report. Kiptanui then gives the herdsman a TB card and enters the details in the electronic register and gives him medicines. Both Kiptanui and Kamau, the district coordinator, are able to track if the herdsman is taking medicines regularly, right on their tab. They send timely alerts to the herdsman on his mobile through SMS. But Kiptanui has a shortage of medicines. He sends an alert to the logistics manager. Medicines are immediately dispatched to Kiptanui's facility. The herdsman continues to go to Kiptanui to receive his medicines and receive his patient support allowance through M-Pesa. Ger, the DTLC, as part of his regular visits to the facilities, uses his tab to check off his supervision checklist. He uses his tab to also claim his expenses. Martha from National Office can track all the payments due from her dashboard and pay them using M-Pesa. After a couple of months, Kiptanui conducts tests again on the herdsman. He is feeling much better. After consistent treatment, the herdsman is diagnosed free of TB. Both Kiptanui and the herdsman are happy. The direct integration of this system with M-Pesa guarantees enhanced efficiency and convenience by ensuring that beneficiaries receive their money at real time. With the Tibu collaborative platform, the lives of many like the herdsman can be saved in time. The Tibu collaborative platform, a revolution in health service delivery practice. Simple, efficient, trustworthy.